say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home Get us underway. That was Skylar Cole singing the Star Spangled Banner. Put me on top, city on lock. They like when he gon' drop. We ain't had enough. Speaking down, but they know who coming up. And I'm still on my way. But the top don't look too far for me. Never caught off that one too far for me. Never caught off that one. Welcome everyone to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson. With us tonight, two great basketball minds, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. Also, our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Bogdan Bogdanovich. And for an idea of where his offense is right now, take a look at his true shooting percentage decreasing over the last five games. He desperately needs to find his stroke tonight. Looking at the starting five for the Boston Celtics. White and Brown with the two and the three. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at point guard. And for the Hawks. The perimeter pair is Bogdanovich and Hunter. Johnson is out there with Clint Capella. And it's Murray in at the one. Rivalry games, Grant, always extra spicy, especially when they feature teams from the same conference. Ooh, I like a little spice. But remember, only one team per conference gets to the final. So that's going to naturally develop some rivalries here and there. So tonight should be a really competitive game. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Holiday against Murray. Here's Holiday. Outside, Brown. Knocks down the long J. When you've gained a decade or more of experience, this is what tends to happen. Holiday stand very patient, waiting for someone to break free. Now here's Bogdanovich. Back to Murray. Rebound Boston. Last time they met in Boston. They really had a strong night shooting the basketball. They got hot and stayed hot. They were very patient, and that was the difference. It's hard to be patient, I know, but look at the outcome they had. Here's Murray. The Celtics making their last shot. Now here's Bogdanovich. In his last outing, 16 points for him. Just three to shoot. Puts up a deep three. The shot comes out. And it didn't register as an official block, but he did everything you want in disrupting that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Holiday looking for an opening. The three. And again, Boston with the triple. Certainly capable from distance. Defenses no longer dare Holiday to shoot from out there. When talking about the Celtics, you'd have to say they have a unique one-two punch, Grant. Yeah, I mean, think about it, B.A. To have Tatum on one wing and Brown on the other, that's a potent combination. And what a luxury for Boston. They complement each other so well. Bogdanovich from long range. And the three-pointer goes. Yes, sir. Bogey answers the call. The Celtics have gone three of three so far from the floor. Brown passes to Holiday. Now here's Brown. That three's off the mark. Outside Murray. Pass to Hunter. Back to Murray. Blocked by 
Porzingis. Great play by Porzingis. Love seeing the zinger engaged on D. Porzingis with a screen on Hunter. And here's Brown for three. He buries it from three. Brown's got six points. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Murray against Holiday. Pass to Bogdanovich. Johnson a screen on White. Here's Bogdanovich. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That one on White. Well, Bogdan Bogdanovich played his first five years in a different pro league. But he was ready when he arrived, Smitty. B.A. hit the ground running. Such a good shooter. He's getting double digits every Take night. Break. He's Take on break. the floor. Two shots. And that one falls for Bogdanovich. Well, Smitty, during the 2022 offseason, the Hawks made a blockbuster trade for DeJounte Murray. Atlanta sent in a clear signal. They want to win now. And I love it, B.A. The front office showing confidence in their players. And so he makes both from the line. And for the Celtics, Grant, when it comes to something like rebounding, it's a total team effort. Well, it's part of their personnel strategy, B.A. Get wings and guards that have length and toughness, which allows them to control the glass and switch just about everything defensively. Count it. At 7-3, tough to challenge Porzingis' shot without making contact. That could have drawn a whistle. Murray finds Capella over Porzingis. Atlanta again missing. Just a little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find some kind of rhythm. Brown gets the bucket. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. And so Murray will bring it up for the Hawks. 11-point game. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Phoenix. And it was an awful game defensively. They lost the individual matchups, and the help was slow to rotate. Point blank, this is a bad combination. If you're looking to get stops, that's not the way. you got to do more than that to slow Capella. He doesn't let the defense rattle him at all. Johnson against Tatum. Over Johnson, again Boston. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Murray deciding where to go with it. Johnson a screen on Holiday, and here's Hunter from the arc. Another three for Atlanta. That's Hunter's spot, very comfortable from there. Here's Tatum. He's given them steady production at over 27 points a game. Rebound by Bogdanovich. Those are precisely the looks this team is trying to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Now here's Murray. 29 points for him last game against the Suns in Phoenix. And he wrecked havoc on defense with four steals for the game. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Porzingis. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Forrest has checked in for Atlanta. Al Horford's checked in for Boston. And the Hawks with possession here. Trailing by eight. Hunter, good. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Now Holiday, making a mark on the offensive end, scoring around 13 a game. Brown passes to Horford. The kick out to White, takes a three. Yes, great play by Horford to set him up. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. To the middle, here's Bogdanovich. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Bogdanovich has got seven points. A sneaky 6-6. Bogdanovich can bang down low. Outside, Brown. There's the three. And again, Boston with the triple. They're getting torched on the perimeter. 
Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Atlanta calls timeout. So for the Hawks, Wendler, he's checked in for Johnson, and it's Matthews in for Hunter. The Celtics making a switch here. Atlanta with the ball. It's a 10-point game. Bogdanovich on the wing. Down low. Capella can't get it to go. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. Here's Pritchard. A 20-point game for him and the win against the Pistons in Detroit. Just five on the clock. Here's Brown, and it's good. Two points. He's got 14. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. There's Bogdanovich with the three. Fires in the triple. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. Brown passes to Pritchard. Here's Hauser. And again, Boston with the triple. Their ability to space the floor has been the story of this game. If you love analytics, this is what this is all about. They favor the three ball. You can pile up points in a hurry. Here's Wendler. Still no points. Pass to Bogdanovich. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. So for the Hawks, Akangu's checked in for Clint Capella. Matthews comes in for Windler. And it's DeJounte Murray in for Forrest. Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. Mikhailu comes in for Jalen Brown. When you take a look at the Atlanta Hawks, a team that wants to get back to being a heavyweight Smitty. B.A., we all remember their magical run in 2021 to the Eastern Conference Finals. That Hawks squad was hungry, and not to just get back there, but get to the NBA Finals. Here's Matthews. Pass to Murray. Outside Bogdanovich. Here's Matthews. Here's the three. Matthews' shot is good. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Here's Pritchard. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. And the shot goes in. And the Celtics lead by eight. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here's Bogdanovich. He's got 13. Pass to Murray. Launches a three. And the Hawks with another three. This just comes from repetition. Murray's put a lot of extra hours in the gym. Catching and firing. Outside Tatum. Here's Mikhailuk. And here's Horford. Here's Pritchard. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Pritchard's got five points. And so it's the Boston Celtics finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped them build an advantage. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Boston. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. 
Another thing they're doing well early on is passing the ball, spreading it around the floor, and feeding guys who are well set up to score. The Hawks trailing. On the floor for Boston, we've got Al Horford, Jason Tatum out there with Peyton Pritchard, and it's Tillman in at the center position, locking down the middle. Here's Matthews. Let's the three fly. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Boston on offense. They defeated Detroit in their last game. Oh my, talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them, but they were able to focus and finish the task at hand. It was a terrific performance we got a chance to watch. They got into a nice rhythm and made smart adjustments along the way. And the Hawks with possession here. The Celtics making their last shot. Offensive rebound, out to the right wing. Pass to Matthews. Now here's Murray. Shot clock at six. Oh, he drains the three, and he'll go to the line for one more. That one on Tatum. And some analysts have lamented the quote-unquote protected guys. Every bump, they go to the free throw line. Does that bother you, Smitty? B.A., it would have bothered me more if I had to guard them. The league has made it clear they want the rules evenly applied. Star treatment should not extend to the officiating. Free throw drops from Murray. I love how DeJounte Murray plays with reckless abandon. He is fearless with his body, and that can often give him an edge against the deep. Here's Tillman, still without a bucket. Up top, Horford. The kick to Tatum. Tillman with a screen, jacks up a three. And the Celtics, another three. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. Murray against Tatum. From 11 feet away, Murray's shot is good. Murray's got nine points. With the lift Murray gets on his jumper, he can get a clean look from mid-range at any time. Hauser passes to Pritchard. Here's Horford. Pass to Hauser. The three ball. Good. And it's Horford who picks up the assist. Horford's got three assists in the game. Yeah, the savvy of Horford on display. Just tremendous passing as a big. Now here's Murray. Nine points in the game. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. And the foul called on the Boston Celtics. Two shots. First free throw is good. So for the Hawks, Johnson comes in for Matthews, and Hunter subbed in for Forrest. And both free throws good for a Kongwu. <laughs> They've been impeccable from the line here in the second period, doing what they can to try to build some momentum. Horford, a screen on Murray. Off the mark there with a three. And so it's Johnson with it. He brings it up for the Hawks. Trailing by eight. And at home for the next game, it'll be Charlotte pulling in to face him. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. The Celtics have terrific depth. They have a number of reserves who could start for other teams. All-star Jason Tatum said those guys sacrificing coming off the bench, I think that just speaks volumes to the commitment that we have to be our best and to playing to our standard every night. Brian? That's what it takes, Allie, right? Thank you. Here's Pritchard following the score by Atlanta. There's Tatum with the three. And Tatum drills the three. You know, this team relies on Tatum hitting those shots. And that's why he's such a high-volume three-point shooter. Matthews passes to Murray. And there's a pick. Going inside. Right through the D for the layup. Murray's got 13. For Boston, they've gone a terrific four of five here in the second quarter. Tatum passes to Hauser. Takes the three. Rebounded by Johnson. Great perimeter D. Gave a good shooter absolutely no room to operate. Here's Hunter. 
Another one falls for Atlanta. When you have space like he did there, you never go with the fadeaway jumper. He has to attack the rim next time. Tatum passes to Pritchard. Here's Hauser. Six points for him. Takes one from 10 feet. Again, the Celtics. Good for two more. Man, he has been locked in this quarter, shouldering the load at the offensive end. And here's Hunter, coming off a 22-point game against the Suns in Phoenix. And he really controlled the pace of the game by getting to the line. The D could not slow him down, and he took advantage of it. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Kongwu. Kristaps Porzingis, he's checked in for Boston. Drew Holiday comes in for Hauser. Starting in his rookie season, Jason Tatum's been a primetime player, someone you expect to dominate playoff games. And that one falls for Tatum. Oh, Grant, the playoffs are on the horizon. We're almost there. Can you taste postseason basketball? I can taste it. I can smell it. I can feel it. <laughs> There's nothing like the NBA playoffs. The level of basketball is just incredible, and lots of teams have a shot this year. So it'll be fun to see how it all plays out. That one misses. The Hawks have gotten five of seven shots to go in the second. Capella inside. Tatum's there. Murray, shot is good. Here in the second quarter, he's looking much more comfortable with his offense. Tatum with it. He's got 15. Charity stripe shot, and that one's good for Zingas. Well within range for Przingis. The Latvian probably was sinking these since he was young. Holiday against Murray. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. His second foul in as many quarters. We'll see if he backs off or stays aggressive. Matthews, he's checked in for Atlanta. Bogdanovich comes in for Murray. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. we got a chance to check out multiple seasons of assist numbers and what has been the trend for DeJounte Murray. And that decline in assist numbers over the last few years is what has made him more of a one-note player on offense. If he could integrate more passing back into his game, he'd be giving opposing defenses a much harder time. Hunter passes to Bogdanovich. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. You gotta love how Capella keeps possessions alive. Really nice effort right there. Here's Tatum. Rebounded by the Hawks. Now here's Bogdanovich. 13 points in the game. Hunter up top. Shoots over White. And there's Hunter on the assist by Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got three assists in the game. And so it's Tatum who brings up the ball for the Boston Celtics. Oh, look at Tatum going to work inside. The defense has to try to limit Tatum's impact on the low block. I mean, he's a dangerous player there on the inside. Bogdanovich passes to Hunter. The three-pointer off the mark. Boston's got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Tatum finds Brown. Fires the three. He's now eight for 11 after that made shot. That's his third three-pointer now after not getting any in the opening period. Outside Bogdanovich. Capella, screen on Holiday. Bogdanovich with it. Porzingis picks him up defensively. And the slam dunk by Capella. 
Love Capella's IQ on the pick and roll, hitting his mark and then getting himself open. Porzinga sets a screen. There's Tatum with the three. Capella with a rebound. Atlanta has gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. 156 left in the half. Here's Bogdanovich. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. The Celtics have gotten eight of 12 attempts to drop since the beginning of the second. Holiday passes to Brown. Outside Tatum from behind the arc. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Tatum's got 23. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up now looks like it's going in. Pass to Bogdanovich. Johnson a screen on Holiday. Outside Johnson. Knocks it down from distance. Johnson's got himself on the board with a three there. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Tatum, good. You're calling Tatum a capable scorer would be an understatement. He is an elite offensive talent. Outside Bogdanovich. And it's off from three-point range. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter, but hasn't made one since. Tries the spin move. Tatum from long range. Rebound Atlanta. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Hunter passes to Johnson. Capella, screen on white, to the inside. And Capella gets it to go. Capella's got eight points. Oh, he's heating up here now in the second quarter. Watch out. Tatum looking it over. Pass to Holiday. Over Bogdanovich. Fantastic hustle from Bogdanovich. Not giving up anything easy. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. It's the Celtics. Up by four, and we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Hey there, everybody. Jason Tatum has put his stamp on this game, looking so dominant so far. All right, fellas, back in your playing days, what was your favorite city to eat in? Whatever city Kenny was in, I'd go steal his lunch, and we'd beat his team on the court the same night. But wait, just for the record, that never happened. And as we review this first half for the Celtics, still anybody's game. Sometimes you show up to the game, and you just feel it, Ernie. Like, that's how it looked tonight, showing the range and doing it consistently. I know I'm feeling it. What about you, Kenny? Yeah, I'm feeling it. I don't know what it is, but I feel it. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. In that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. The perimeter pair is Bogdanovich and Hunter. Johnson is out there with Clint Capella. And it's Murray in at the one spot. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. The kick out to Johnson. Capella, the pass to Johnson. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Holiday. 
passed to White. Let's it go from deep. Atlanta with a rebound. Johnson's got his fifth rebound in this one. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. Defensive breakdown. Murray attracts attention as they score, which opens up everything else. Brown against Hunter. Pass to Porzingis. Three-pointer. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Brown's got three assists in the game. Holiday against Murray. Now here's Bogdanovich. Defense right on him. Johnson with a bucket. We know he has the range, and we know he has the attack mindset. 90 seconds into the second half now. Brown against Hunter. Outside for Zingas. Pass to Tatum. Let's go with a three. Oh, Tatum with the long distance answer. You gotta respect the response from Tatum. I mean, this guy just loves to compete. Jason Tatum. Watch out. And so it's Bogdanovich with it. He brings it up for Atlanta. Six-point game. Fades and shoots. Another one falls for Atlanta. Bogdanovich is a productive scorer who excels on and off the ball. Tatum finds Holiday. White with it. Defended by Bogdanovich. Murray against Holiday, just five to shoot. And here's Brown for three. Capella with a rebound. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. Back to Hunter. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got three assists in the game. Just crushing it here. 80% to start the half. And Smitty now in the first year of his rookie extension. DeAndre Hunter, the former number four overall pick. B.A. injuries have been a hindrance early in his career. But he has a chance, in my opinion, to be one of the best wing defenders in the game. Yeah, and we've seen Brown take strides as a playmaker out of the pick and roll. Pass to Capella. Outside Hunter. Back to Capella. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. You know, in most seasons throughout his career, Clint Capella has shot a higher percentage from the field than from the line. Pass to Porzingis. Over Capella. Porzingis misses. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. That gives him the lead. Bogdanovich has got four points in the quarter. Man, he's been on point, not forcing things, getting the most of his looks within the flow. Holiday against Murray. For three, Porzingis. Oh, KP with the three. In today's game, you can never afford to get beat in the three-point battle. Murray passes to Bogdanovich. This one for three. Holiday grabs the miss. The Celtics with the lead. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, Jalen Brown has shown steady development over his career. He said, quote, every year presents different challenges. I think that's the fun part about basketball, that it's not the same. you got to be flexible, you got to be durable, and you have to be able to grow with the game. Brian? Allie, he keeps getting better and better. Thanks for that. Good stuff. So it's Atlanta now, following the bucket by the Celtics. Outside Murray. The Hawks need to get one up here. And the slam dunk by Capella. That's a good read by Murray. Not having to think about it, he just reacts. 
Holiday passes to Porzingis. Outside Tatum. Tatum draws the double. Pass to Brown. Fires from deep. Atlanta with the rebound. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Bogdanovich finds Johnson. Back to Bogdanovich. Capella, screen on Brown. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's foul number two for him. The Celtics making a switch here. Orford's checked in. Number 42, Al Horford. Brown against Bogdanovich. Pass to Murray. Six on the shot clock. Over Holiday. Murray, no good. Boston has gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Brown looking around. Inside, Horford. Oh, getting it done. Horford gets it to go. Oh, nothing new for Horford. He knows how to score against tough coverage. Porzingis against Capella. Back to Hunter. Outside Bogdanovich. Sends it home from three-point land. Bogdanovich has got 22 points. From deep, we've seen Bogdan well over 40% for a season, showing he is a knockdown shooter. And that one's good for Zingas. I don't know what coach told him at halftime, but he is shooting the lights out right now. Now a timeout, timeout called by Atlanta. And Grant, you look at the longevity of Horford's career. He's done a great job reinventing himself. You know, B.A., he added the three to his game once he hit 30. And that has extended his career by changing how he plays. He still can be an X-factor on any given night. And the Hawks making a change here. Okongwu's checked in. And the Celtics also making a change. Pritchard's checked in for Tatum. Outside Murray. Pass to Hunter. For three. Orford pulls it in. Boston has gone four of seven from three. A good percentage in the third quarter. Brown against Johnson. Now here's Brown. He's covered closely. Outside Holiday. Four on the clock. Here's Pritchard. And the three off target. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for the Atlanta Hawks. Trailing by four. Pass to Johnson. To the paint. Bogdanovich finds Johnson. Gets the three to fall. Johnson's got nine. Not just a score. Bogdanovich shows excellent feel as a playmaker. That was a nice find. Here's Pritchard, defended by Murray. Pass to Horford. And here's Brown for three. Yes! Great play by Horford to set him up. 17 points in the game. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Now here's Hunter. He's got 13. Drains the triple. That's his second three-pointer of the night. One in each half. Trying to keep the defense honest. Pritchard, the pass to Horford. Outside, Brown. Horford, a screen on Hunter. They kick it out to Porzingis. Three-pointer, Holiday. Back to Porzingis. Pass to Brown. Down low. KP wrecks the rim. On the offensive end, Porzingis has been so dialed in, making the most of every scoring opportunity he gets. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Inside, they kick it out to Murray. 
Let's a floater go. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got four rebounds now. Holiday passes to Brown. Horford, a screen on Johnson. He's been so aggressive on offense. And with the results, you understand why. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. And so it's Boston leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. They've been lights out from deep. And it's a big reason why they have a lead in this one. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Creating plays for others. It's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. On the floor for Boston. The star wing pair. It's Brown and Tatum outside. Then there's Peyton Pritchard. Then there's Al Horford. And it's Tillman in at the center position, locking down the middle. Now here's Brown. Horford right side from deep. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Three points. Brown's got seven assists in the game. Nice to have a big man you can count on to hit that shot. Makes the offense much more diverse. Here's Forrest. Pass to Murray from outside the arc. And the Hawks with another three. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Now here's Brown. inside hey he's more than just a shooter a superb mid-range shooter all brown needs is some separation and he's ready to pull up a kong Wu finds murray shoots over brown great look there but off target the celtics with the lead and we've made our way through just over a minute and a half of this fourth quarter Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Pritchard gets it to go. And it's a 10-point Celtic lead. You really have to question the defensive effort on that possession. They are getting bare tonight with plays like that one, allowing too much space for a good shooter. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Kongwu. The Celtics also with a sub. Holiday is checked in. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Hey guys, well, Quinn Snyder was just reviewing the plan with the team. They took a laid-back approach to the huddle, telling the team everyone thinks this game is over, so just go out there and let it rip. Let's see what we can do. And I think the players love that message. Thank you for that, Allie. Now here's Murray. Three-pointer off the mark. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Now here's Brown. Guarded closely. And the Celtics another three. In the first half, he got wild and loose from beyond the arc. Now he's hit three more since. Remarkable. Forrest, the pass to Murray. And they waste no time getting those three points back. Murray's got 22. This kid's a gamer. Murray loves the competition. Right there, a little get back. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. That's just his first turn of the night. What a steady, efficient game he's played thus far. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. And the Celtics making a change here. Tillman's checked in. Now here's Murray. Out to the wing. Pass to Capella. To the inside. And it's Murray finishing it off. 
When Murray gets on a roll, he is really something. What a night. Murray against Holiday. Tatum passes to Holiday. And here's Horford. Outside Tatum. Holiday from long range. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. And the Celtics lead by 11. So often, Drew creates with the ball in his hands. This time, the play is created for him. Forrest, the pass to Matthews. 4-3. Matthews' shot is good. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Tatum. Tatum draws the double. Here's Pritchard. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Atlanta's gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Murray with it. Dal Capella to the wing on the left. And they double up Murray to the middle. And Capella gets it to go on the assist by Murray. Very adaptable. Capella knew that shot was going to be contested and made the subtle adjustment. Left side Tatum. The three is up. Counted from distance. Tatum's got 32 points. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. Screen by Capella. Forrest, the pass to Capella. Murray inside. He's covered by Holiday. Murray, no good. Boston's gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Pritchard, the pass to Holiday. Back to Pritchard. Here's Horford. Now Holiday. The three is up. The shot misses. The Hawks have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Now here's Murray. Not a lot of room. Inside. Here's Capella. And the slam dunk by Capella. It's a big night for Clint Capella so far. He's playing competitive ball and finding this shot. And Boston calls time here. It may be a player's league, but the coaches obviously play a big part as well. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. Atlanta making some changes here. Johnson, he's checked in for Matthews. Hunter comes in for Matthews. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovic in for Forrest. So it's Boston now. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Ooh, had a nice open look right there. Holiday's got six in the quarter. This is what you can count on with Holiday. He's active. He's consistent. He's going to give you everything he has every night. Bogdanovich with it. Now guarded by White. Pass to Murray. Shoots over Brown. Another one falls for Atlanta. And he's single-handedly trying to keep them alive. Terrific scoring quarter. Will it be enough, though? To the inside. White. Inside. White gets it to go. I like the setup there by Holiday. A true combo guard. He understands that his playmaking is key to helping this offense run well. Outside Bogdanovich. Johnson for three. With the putback. Great positioning on the putback. Capella's got 19 points. The uncanny ability to time the tip in. He does this night in and night out. Poor thing is punishing inside. Yeah, the way Tatum shares the ball really completes his package. Murray against Holiday. Capella screen on Holiday. Fires from the wing. Murray, no good. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. Holiday passes to Tatum. Outside, Brown. And the foul on DeAndre Hunter. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Tatum against Johnson. Six to shoot. 
Tatum inside. Johnson on him. And it's Tatum missing. Hunter on the wing. Defended by Brown. Hunter passes to Bogdanovich. Capella screen on White. From deep, Johnson. He drops it from range. Johnson's got nine points here in the second half. You like how easily Bogdanovich shares the ball. Doesn't try to do it all by himself. Holiday against Murray. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. They are making it rain from the three-point land right now. And the coaching staff continues to encourage them to let it fly. Yeah, another thing you notice are all the assists. The ball just has energy, and everyone is getting involved. He drops the first one, and that stretches their lead to eight. And so he drops them both, and it's a nine-point game here. 105 left to play in the fourth quarter. It's stolen by Holiday. Tatum against Murray. Releases from 15. Tatum, good. Tatum's got 34. Nothing left to do but to watch the clock tick towards zero. Nice victory here for the Celtics. Man, the bench brought lots of energy tonight. <laughs> I'll tell you, when your reserves can score like that, it puts your team in a great position to win. Add this one to the win column. They're 57th of the year. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Jason Tatum. Anytime they needed a bucket, they put the ball in his hands and say, go make a play. It was impressive to watch. Honestly, they're just down by too much to mount a comeback. And you know, disappointment starts to set in a little bit. You fought all night, just wasn't meant to be. Here's Holiday. So we see the Celtics get the win here. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Jason, with you guys being such a young team, how do you continue to improve to reach your potential? Uh, we got to watch film. I mean, we did a lot of good things today. There's a lot of things we could have done better. And uh, we just got to be focused, composed, play with a lot of boys, and uh, we'll be fine. Boys normally comes with experience, but because you're so young, you're finding it early. Congrats. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports coverage of the NBA. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. PlayStation.